Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn English with Pretty. This video is going to be very, very different from what you usually see and watch on my channel. This is gonna be sort of a podcast. So if you are a big fan of podcasts, let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to mention which podcast is your favorite so that I can check it out in case I didn't know about it. So as I said before, if you're a big fan, if you're into this, let's go ahead and get started. Sit back. Put your earphones on and relax. So today's podcast is going to be about describing words you don't know yet in English. This is an English speaking practice. No dictionary? No problem. Do this English speaking exercise to keep the conversation flowing. Everyday conversational English is spontaneous and a wide range of vocabulary is used. In this podcast, we're going to be learning and I'm going to arm you with the skills to be able to describe words you don't know like a pro and turn it into a game you can play with a native speaker or even a friend of yours. The key to speaking fluency and developing a good speaking flow is to learn how to keep talking without long awkward breaks. It doesn't have to be perfect English because you know, native speakers use sounds and words to stall while they are thinking all the time which is not perfect English. As a person learning English, you will find yourself needing to describe a word or concept that you don't know the vocabulary for. Instead of stopping to think, you can just say, I don't know the word but, and continue trying to describe the word. The other person in the conversation won't even notice the change in the topic or that you don't know a word. The conversation will just flow from the original story which is yours into a game where they need to try to figure out what word you need to know in order to continue the story. In what's following, I'm going to try and give you a few descriptions of certain words and I want you guys to guess what the word is or what I'm trying to describe. Ready, set, go well i don't know what it's called but it's something used for cooking that is sweet it is usually white and looks a lot like salt uh small white grains that are sweet hmm well that could be can you guess the word sugar that's right uh our next description goes like this it's a post that is on the street that has a light on it so that people who are walking or driving can see at night. Hmm. Where is it gonna be? Street lamp. Yes. If you guess the two descriptions right, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm also going to leave a list of words that you can try to describe in the description box down below. So don't forget to check that out. And do not use the word that you are describing. The idea is that you pretend, uh, you have to pretend you don't know the word. I do recommend trying to do this exercise while speaking out loud, especially if you are an intermediate student or higher. While doing this activity, try writing down any words that you don't know to properly describe it. You know them for future situations uh, where you will need to describe something. Mastering the ability to describe things will make you a better storyteller and more entertaining and interesting to have a conversation with. Native speakers love stories with lots of detail. It's more entertaining. You can do this activity anywhere. Look around you and describe an object that is near you. You can still do it right now because why not? Uh, if you are on the bus, you could describe the handrails, for example, the seats, the client collector, the emergency exit windows, etc. Or while walking down the street, it could be the sidewalk, street lamps, electrical wires, or even street signs. 
All right, now we've got a game for you to play and do this English speaking practice activity. Pretend that you are in a conversation with a native speaker or just a friend of yours and you can't remember a word or you don't know the word and you need to explain the word or things related to the word until the other person guesses what you're trying to say. Write a description of a word below in the comment section and see if I can guess which word you're trying to explain. If you think this is a good idea and a helpful technique to improve English speaking skills, please share it on Facebook as well as all your social media accounts because that would mean a lot to me and give it a big big thumbs up if you did enjoy it of course. Well, we reached the end of this video slash podcast. It was me, English with Pretty and catch you guys soon.